Hello class, Mr. Herman with you again, and I'm here to describe how to complete something called an event poem. Now an event poem is pretty wacky, so I'm going to ask you to tap into your most creative part of your brain, and we're going to get truly strange with this next assignment. An event poem is a bizarre poem which describes various strange uses for a normal object, or it describes a scene going on in front of almost like a large audience. These would go along with things called happenings in the 50s and 60s where someone would demonstrate the uses of the object or perform the actual uh, description of the poem. If you look in Wikipedia under happening, um, it's a performance, um, usually considered art or performance art. It's supposed to be strange. Um, they have some cool pictures on the Wikipedia page of an artist wrapping themselves in newspapers um, as an example of a happening. But if you look down here, the happenings have sort of uh, evolved into flash mobs or improv anywhere type things where um, a piece of art, poetry, can pop up anywhere. Um, a great example of that would be, uh, I think there's something called um, Shakespeare in Public Places or Shakespeare in the Subway where people just kind of burst into Shakespeare monologues in public places and film it. It kind of comes from hippie culture. So we're going to take a look at two examples of these, and you're going to try to write a recreation of both, and then you're going to submit the best one for grading. Now, in the first one, this is more like a scene. So imagine kind of like a big concert hall and people up on stage completing the acts that are here. Um, it usually takes normal objects and finds bizarre uses for them. So we've got stuff like um, giant balls of Cheerios, mountains of tires, men's belts, lifesaver candies, but they're all being used in totally ridiculous uh, fashions. Um, children disgorge barrels of whitewash over the mountain of tires. Um, people in plastic pools are leaping out and catching the lifesavers in their mouths that are attached to um, the chains of men's belts. So it's a surreal scene and you should be able to look at one of these poems and try to find like a deeper meaning to it. You could argue like anything really, but it should have some sort of um, basis for like, oh, this is about how terrible the suburbs are, or this is about how uh, women are kept down in our culture. The second option is called a object event poem. And it's where you take a normal object and it's almost like a to-do list and you find truly strange uses for that object and it kind of teaches us to look at the world in a new light where we're so used to looking at the things that are in our house and our work, uh, place of work that we get used to it and that's not good. So this is for a pineapple. Number one, cut the pineapple in half and wear the two halves as earmuffs on a cold winter day. Two, peel the skins off of 100 pineapples and glue them down as tiles. Three. Cut out five of the little round lozenges on the pineapple skin and sew them to your jacket buttons. Four, look at the pineapple. It looks like a torch of the Statue of Liberty. Five, feel the pineapple. It feels like a suede sneaker on a foot of a very large kid. So this example is goofy. You can make it more serious, but the idea is you take a normal object and you find new uses for it. And the point of both of these is to be strange, but strange in a way that makes you think a little bit or at least is full of cool images. So give it a shot. You can follow my steps down here for writing it. And I'm looking forward to some wacky poems.